Hello and welcome to another tutorial by me, Ryan Laley. And in this tutorial of Game Maker, I'm going to go through how to do locked doors and specifically how to open locked doors when you collect a key. So I've started off with uh, doing some basic stuff, such as starting off with my player. I've got basic movement, nothing too different there. But what we're going to do, I've also loaded up three sprites doors, lock and a key. So what we're going to do is make a couple of objects. The first object we make is the door itself. So we're going to make a new object and name it object door and choose the door sprite. OK and choose solid. OK for our first event we're going to do a create event then in control tab we're going to give it a variable and the verb we're going to give it is O underscore state. Now again this is our own variable, it's not predefined or predetermined in Game Maker, so we can call it whatever we like. I call it that just to uh, help me uh, understand what's what. And we're going to have it as 0 is open and 1 is locked, so let's start off with it being locked. Click OK. And that's it for that one. Then add an event and a draw event. Now remember last time in another video the draw event redraws the sprite of the graphic of the object. So first thing we need to do is test a variable and you need to test that variable we just made. So O underscore state leave it at zero. So if it is open we want it to draw just the door sprite. Tick relative OK. So if it's open draw door sprite then we have to go else then we're going to go draw draw sprite so it's locked this time so we're going to start off with a door relative same as before and then draw the locked sprite that we've got tick relative and this will draw this lock sprite on top of the door sprite we just put this round blocks start and end block and there you have it so we've got a state of the door being open or locked we're drawing uh, the door if it's unlocked uh, as without the lock. Uh, otherwise, we're going to draw it with the door and then the lock on top of it. Okay. Next up, we need to make a object for the key. So click on new object. Choose the key sprite. Call it obj underscore key. Click OK. And then my player object. I'm going to give him a new variable. And the variable I'm going to give him is got underscore key. And I'm going to tick it as, uh, z keep it as zero, sorry, not one. So keep it as zero because we haven't got the key yet. And then when we have a collision event with the key, we're going to take that variable, got underscore key, change it to one, and then delete the key. Okay, so as soon as we collide the key, we, we change this variable to say that we've got the key and we destroy the instance. Click OK and then reopen your door. Now, for the last part, we have to uh, detect whether we are pushing a key to open the door and whether we're close enough to actually do it. So, on key release, I'm going to use control, but you can use whatever you like. And then we use a series of con a, uh, test variables. First of all, we're going to test whether the player is close enough to them. So, type in the following distance underscore to underscore object open brackets obj underscore player close brackets and I'm going to type in 50 ok so whether we are, if this is going to test whether we are close enough to actually interrupt the door and if we are we're going to put these blocks in here we're going to test another variable and we're going to test whether it's actually locked or unlocked. So we go O underscore state. If it is locked, we are going to do another test. And we're going to test whether the player has got a key. So we go OBJ underscore player dot got underscore key. So we're checking the variable of the object player object and we're going to test whether it is true 
or not. So we're going to keep it as one. Oh, let's put this around blocks. So if we're close enough to the object and the door is locked and the player has the key, we're going to make it unlocked. So first thing first, drag set variable, change it to O underscore state to zero. And this will automatically redraw it here uh, without the lock, so it'll take away the lock off the sprite. And then we're going to go uh, else. So if the player hasn't got the key, we're going to give the player a message. And the message we're going to give them is you need the gold key. Okay, so we'll go through it again. If we're close enough to the object and it's locked, we're going to go and if the player's got the key set to zero, so it's unlocked. Otherwise, if the player does not have the key, we're going to display a message to say, go get the key. With that out of the way, we're now going to go back and have a look at the alternative of this one. So if zero state is equal to one, that means if it's locked. So now we're going to test whether it's unlocked. So else, at the bottom here. So if, it's not, if the door is not locked when we interact with it, we want it to go to the next room. But for now, I'm just going to give it a message to say, this is where you would go to the room. Okay, so if it's locked, go through this. If it's not locked, just display the message to say you can go through it. And that's it. That's all you got to do. So let's go test it, put it in the room. I'm going to put the key here and the door here. Okay and then test it oh we made one fundamental error go to the door control and then the distance to object we'll make sure that it's smaller than 50 crucial error on my own behalf oh, I apologize so there you go we'll test it okay so here we are in the room we've got movement got to my door you need the gold key okay Go grab the gold key, come back to the door. There you go, see so the lock go away. And if I click the key, control key again, this is where you'd go to the next room. Perfect. I've been Ryan Lally. If you've got any suggestions or comments, or if you want further videos, uh, something specific, please leave a comment in their feed or subscribe to my channel and leave a, feed, a comment there. Thank you.